Hello and welcome to Let Play Ultimate Flash Sonic Episode 9. Uh, today I will be doing Big the Cat's story, how appropriate, because cats have nine lives. Um, basically, you start off, as you can see, in a Emerald Coast. Um, right off the bat, you have the option to catch a Krabby. I am not going to do that because he gives you a little bit of extra firepower on the boss. But honestly, he takes a ridiculously long time to train. I just don't feel like it's worth it. So I'm going to skip over him. And uh, yeah, he's got to pick up the fishing pole. Um, as an homage to the original Sonic Adventure, Big the Cat's story is basically just a fishing minigame, at least the first part. But um, it's a little bit different than you're not trying to catch Froggy. You're trying to catch the boss so that you can beat him up and save Froggy. Um not going to spoil who the boss is, but it's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, you fish, you just walk over to the shore, you just got to stand near the water, and the way this works is it's actually a little bit simpler than it is in the original Sonic Adventure. You just have to walk by the water, and you hit the X button, and that casts this fishing line, and basically you just wait until something pops up on the screen. Hang on, it'll say, it'll say caught. Uh, takes a minute sometimes though, so you might just have to wait. Okay, yeah, there it is. Um, you wait until you see that, then you hit the X button, and you see what you caught. Uh, looks like I just caught a Nyan Cat. That is pretty cool. It's not what I'm looking for, but it's worth some bonus points. Uh, let's see. This might take a while, so I am just going to, uh, cut out the spot in between, and I will come back when I catch the boss. Uh, see you in a minute. Okay, I am back. Um, I am about to catch the boss. You can tell because the uh, catch symbol, the writing is in different lettering. Um, but before I do, I just want to give you a list of the characters I caught before this. Um, leading up to this point, I caught Spangbab. Professor Pickle, Silver, Blaze, Raichu, Ariel, Naruto, Scorps, Flavio, Smurfette, Princess Sally, Petey Piranha, Santa Claus, Popo, Rookie, Tronbon, Raphael the Raven, Master Splinter, Lady Bo, Meowth, Captain N, Captain Planet, Captain America, Captain Crunch, and Bowletta, and uh, also Timmy Turner. So... Um, took a little while, but I got a pretty high score, as you can see, that's listed in the top right corner. Um, but I'm about to hit the catch button, so now you're gonna get to see who the boss is. And, surprise, surprise, it is Shadow Mario. You couldn't see him because he was blending in with the water, because he was made of water. Um, oh yeah, this part's kind of interesting, this little cutscene, uh, Big the Cat gets all mad at Shadow Mario, rightly so, he took Froggy. And it's never really explained why, but you can just assume because Shadow Mario is evil. And basically what happens now is Shadow Mario gets on a surfboard and he surfs away. So you have to go after him. Uh, this is a little bit tricky. You gotta watch out. Sometimes that giant fish from Super Mario 3 jumps out and tries to attack it. Yes, yeah, see, see like that. You gotta, you gotta watch out because it's one hit KO. You also gotta look out for the Gyarados. Those are pretty tough. Um... When they use Hyper Beam, you gotta jump. You can jump by hitting the space bar. And let's see, dodge some rocks. Yeah, this chase scene isn't very long. Yeah, see, I'm done, but oh, oh shoot. Darn, I hit the bad future sign, and uh, that is going to be a problem because that gets you the bad ending. So I am going to use my save state. I put one right before that, and. Alright, yeah, I'm right back to the part before I hit the shore. So I'm gonna jump over that sign. And now I can use my hot tub time machine. Uh, you have that from your inventory. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm going to use that now to go back in time. And now I'm in the past, so I can destroy the robot generator and collect all seven time stones. So now I have the good future. Um, and now that I'm there, I can fight with Shadow Mario. Basically, what he does is he sprays a lot of paint at you. You got to dodge all that. Yeah, you can do some backflips. See that? Oh shoot, I got hit. Yeah, you, you lose rings and it's basically like, you know how they have the robot fights from uh, Sonic Adventure 2? It's kind of like that, 
where the rings heal you, but um, you have like a set energy bar. And what you gotta do to hurt Shadow Mario is see, you find Flood, and you just gotta spray him with that. You can attach him to your fishing pole. Okay, that looks like I got him. But that is actually only the first part of this boss because, in all reality, Shadow Mario was actually Dark Glow Box the whole time. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I think it makes perfect sense. Anyway, uh, killing Dark Glow Box is a little bit harder. He flies around and uh, throws ball torbs at you. You gotta watch out for those because they'll explode. And, oh, gotta jump over the shoop whoop. Always gotta watch out for those. And finally, to beat him, see a little Ziki bomb drops out of the sky. You gotta grab that, uh, say the Ziki words, and throw it at him. Because, I mean, if you don't let go of that, you're just gonna explode. And, darn, I missed. Alright, gotta try that again. Uh, dodge shoot whoop again. Oops, gotta look out. That awesome face is raining down from the sky all once in a while, and those will hurt you actually if you get hit. It's sort of weird. Okay, here's another Seeky Bomb, and I am throwing it right now. Got him. All right, yep, got him. He is done. And yeah, as you can see, he let go of Froggy. Um, Big just picks him up. And the twist at the end is that Froggy's actually Jesus. Um, bet you didn't see that one coming, but if you, if you go back and watch the video, you'll see that there's actually a good amount of foreshadowing for that. Anyway, uh, let's watch the credits together. And then this episode will be done. Well, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in episode 10 where I will be going through the cheats. And then after that, all we'll have is the finale episode and this pig will be kicked or something. Meaning that it'll be over. All right, goodbye.